One of our clients was about four years old when he started to have symptoms of lead paint poisoning. We helped that family investigate what was the reason why this lead paint was entering into his system. So we went into his apartment in this gigantic apartment building and we found tons of areas where the levels of lead in the paint in the apartment were exceedingly high. I mean, off the charts. It was clear what the source was. It took a long while, but we actually got the case ready for trial. And this was in spite of the fact that we were suing one of the biggest landlords in New York City. And it seems that this particular landlord had a lot of power because the judge wasn't really so friendly to us. He wouldn't let a lot of the evidence in and he made it very difficult for us to prove our case. And that means that when the evidence isn't in, it's not in front of the jury and the jury really can't decide that. Then witnesses came on and the defendants put up witnesses that flat out lied. And it was up to me to prove that they were in fact lying. I didn't know if the jury was gonna believe it because the judge had blocked so much of my evidence from coming in and I thought wrongfully so. Thankfully, the jury saw right through it and returned a verdict. I didn't think it was gonna go that way and I was really happy that it did and my client got a great result.